police! Fuck this guy! Road pirate! The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Hello everybody, it's Daniel Freeman with copblock.org. Last week, myself and Dio came across a speed trap in Parma, Ohio. We didn't have a lot of time, so we decided to ambush and interview the officer hiding behind a building. The ambush interview concluded when the officer sped off when he caught somebody speeding. Dio and I then followed him and covered that traffic stop as well. When we realized the officer wasn't going to leave the area, we decided to make some signs and warn motorists this was effective until the officer made a slight tweak in his plan, as you'll see in this video. Enjoy. How's it going? Good, what's going on? What are you doing over here? I'm running radar. Oh, is this private property? Yeah, we have permission to be here. You have permission to be here? So you don't think it's just kind of sneaky to hide behind a building and catch people for, what, speeding? Yeah, they're speeding, no front plate, stuff like that. Victimless crimes, revenue generation. Oh, if they kill somebody while they're speeding. What was your name again? Badge number 20. Badge number 20, that's your name? That's my badge number. Oh, what was your name? Oh, put it here on my shirt. Oh, can't really, can't see it too well from there, but badge number 20, Parma? Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. It seems like some service that I wouldn't pay for voluntarily. Okay. But I don't think it's really, I mean, do you think it's good to hide behind a building and catch people Speeding? I mean, are they harming anybody? I already answered that. I mean, yeah. You think it is okay? So you think it's okay to take money from people? I'm not taking money. I'm just issuing tickets. Well, so you're enforcing it. Yeah, I'm enforcing you're, it. So you're like the pirate of the sea, only of the road. You're like a road pirate. That's your opinion. A road pirate? I would. I would. You didn't. You didn't sign up for the police force to become a road pirate. Well, I do what they tell me to do. I've been here 15 years. I love my job. The next 15 years, or the first 15 years. Do you think they'll be as good? I think so. Yeah? I think so. You're not worried that like they're making too many laws and too many people are, you know, becoming a victim of the system in some manner? No, because I have to obey these same laws when I leave here. When I leave here today, I have to obey the same laws. Yeah, when you take off the uniform, probably. Because if I was I doing what you were doing, I'd go to jail. Doing what I was doing what? What you're doing right now. Well, sitting here behind a... Uh, yeah, and then pulling the people over with a gun on my hip and demanding that they pay me 147 bucks for speeding. Well, you're not a police officer. Right, but just because you put that uniform on doesn't make it right. Well, just by the law it does. But the law doesn't equal right. You're, you're quoting the law. The law says I, I should do it. The law says I have to do well, it. Well, I'm trying to point out that law doesn't magically make things okay. Okay, that's your opinion. You know, you're have you given anybody a warning today? What's that? You give people warnings? Oh, well, I give somebody a warning. So then the law is BS. You either enforce it or you don't. You like you subjectively decide when that is. So what good is the law if it's on you anyways? It's officer discretion. You might as well just write all the laws then. Uh, I. You'd I like that? Good. Yeah. Wouldn't do, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you like to uh, write all the laws? Well, see, there is a way to do that. It's called self-government. It's like self-ownership. You cool. make your own rules, and then you're held accountable for your own actions. Yeah, let me know how that goes, man. That's cool. Well, as soon as we have guys like you stopping doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. then we can have that. Okay. What do you think? Well, I think until then, you better keep going 25 down this stretch of road or I'm going to get you. Right? Do you know why people stop yeah. when you pull them over? Yeah, because I, uh, it's the law. It's the law? Uh -huh. it, I think it has more to do with that thing on your hip. Okay. Because if you didn't have the gun, no one would stop. They'd just laugh. They'd be like, look at this guy with his shiny lights behind right. me. You know? Okay. That's cool. It's cool. I really don't expect anything much to happen. I'm going to stand here and chat with you as long as you want. Or as long as you're going to stand and take radar. Maybe I can stop I don't some care, people. Dude. What's your name? My name's Ademo. Ademo, I'm bored. Yeah? You can keep me company all day. That's awesome. I hey man, I'd much rather talk to you on a card. Coplock.org, police accountability website. Thank you. Advocates filming the police. Here, I'm gonna give you a card. Okay, great. This is a church that came by and gave me a card. Oh, okay. So you're saying I need I need salvation? Well, that's what that guy says. I already belong to a church. I don't want to go to oh. a church. Well, I'll take it. You know, I'm always open to new information and new ideas and thinking outside the box. Me too. I mean, I've kind of explored the religion thing already, but I don't know, maybe that'll change my mind. Me personally, I'm an atheist. I mean, I believe that like we have energy and consciousness, but I don't believe that there's maybe a God that created things uh, that like some particular religions believe, but. Well, I'm not allowed to talk about my religion. You got me on camera. I'll take oh. turn the camera off and talk That sucks. All day, well, that's but... okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll leave the camera on just because I feel that's best with uh, police officers. Um, isn't that weird though that you can't talk about some things for your job? Like I can talk freely about anything I want. I prefer not. What's that? I just prefer not. Oh, that okay. Well, that's different. I thought you said that you couldn't. I, I, I you know, misspoke. That happens. I do that too. Okay. Oh.
like you, if I asked you for your driver's license, would you give it to me right now? Right now? Yeah. Uh, no, because I'm not. Prefer not to give it to me. What's that? Would you prefer not to give it? To me? Oh, I would prefer not to give it to you. At, okay. At, yeah, unless I would voluntarily want to, or you could just ask me my name, which I, you did, and I gave it to you. But um, that would be easier. But if you're going along the lines of like things that you do, I would ask you if I was suspected of a crime, and I wouldn't think I would be just standing here. Doug, you're standing in front of the radar. You're blocking it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Well, now he's obstructing. Now he's committing a crime. Obstructing what? Obstructing my official business here. Oh. You're in front of my radar. You were in my radar. You were in front of the radar. That's obstructing justice. Yeah. I'm here to get arrested. Yeah. Doug, move out of my way, man. Did you knew him before? Huh? You knew him before? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Because he knew your name. Yep. Yeah, but no. I have no problem with Doug. I don't know you. I have no oh. problem with that guy. I'm a demo. I don't know you. Oh. Yep. I started coplock.org five years ago. Cool. Good. Now Facebook has like 1.4 million likes. That's more than like the FBI, DEA, and like, I don't know, some other abbreviations combined. It's crazy. But I don't really hate cops. I really think that the institution puts you guys in a really hard spot between law and like what's right and wrong basically because like government to me is nothing more than a business and you know some businesses like the grocery store down the road gauges themselves by sales every month or year or whatever while police stations don't have that profit because they get the money no matter what because it's from taxation so they gauge themselves merely on more laws more cops more bars you know what i mean right. and that bubble just grows until it pops what i'd really like to see is if a business owner on this road then he would have all the incentive in the world to not only maintain it paint good lines have good traffic flow but also safety and if you really thought this was the best part of police work that you do because some cops say i'm better at finding murderers or i'm better at recovering stolen property you might be best at traffic enforcement then you would be able to work for the person that owns this road and do the same thing the only difference is is i wouldn't be forced to pay for you unless i'm using the service which the profit would then go to pay for you uh, and then if you would do things that like I didn't like, like hide behind buildings and sneakily try to trap people uh, speeding. I hate to cut then, you off. Oh, you got one? Yep. You got one? Why don't you just leave him alone, man? No victim, no crime. Shit, dude. Now we gotta get signed and shit. Yeah. Look how dangerous that is. More road pirates. Ahoy! Arr! Arr, Pidey! I see a, a ship full of booty here. Maybe I can plunder some of your wealth. Oh, road pirates. Did you use some of that officer discretion? No? That's between me and him, not oh. between me and you. But you're a public official, you work for me. I had to tell you anything. You're my servant. Are you done with him? You're my public official. I'm done with him. Hey, I wouldn't go up to that car if I were you. I wouldn't go up to that car if I were you. Oh, why? You think he's gonna harm somebody? I would stay away from that people if I were okay. you. I wouldn't, I would leave that guy alone. Why is that? He doesn't want to be bothered. He already told me he doesn't want to be bothered. So why'd, you bother? Well, why'd you bother him? Yeah, we're fine, we're cool. Off for the next victim, our Road pirates, to the rescue. Thank you, officer, for pulling me over. I Get wish ass real good. I wish I would have demanded all the money. Don't harass these people. What? Harassing, Harassing people. people? I don't know what you're talking about. You. I didn't pull up behind him with a gun on my hip with lights on the car. I know. Car, him it's thing. really funny you accuse me of harassing somebody. You just extorted money from that guy. You just made you just extorted you took his money from him. You stole from him like a pirate. Alright. You stole from him like a pirate. Thank 
Sure, man. How's it feel to be a pirate? Hot kettle. Hey everybody, it's a demo. I'm uh, out here in Parma, Ohio. We got done doing some chalking police stuff and we noticed a cop sitting up on a speed trap. So we went and made some signs. And now we're trying to get people to slow down because I tried to get them to leave just by, he's got another cop up there right now. I tried to get him to leave just by talking to him and ambushing him, but he refused to leave. So I have to warn people now. But uh, we got a we're cop. Hey! Hey! Why? Oh, well, you didn't get any. Where are you going now? Go home. Go home and get a real job. Fuck the police. Thank you. What a trap that is. I know. Well, he just moved on me. This guy is such an asshole. Let's see some of that officer discretion. I call bullshit. So apparently now our guy has changed tactics since we were stopping him that way. He went up there and now he's pulling people over this way. So we're out here with this cop who keeps pulling people over. We tried to ambush, interview him to get him to leave. It didn't work. Then we got these signs and he moved further down the road. And so now I'm just going to follow him to every traffic stop he does with my fuck the police sign. Fuck this road pirate. Coplock.org. Yes, we are. So are you. Well, I thought you said you didn't hate cops. Well, you're pulling people over aggressively, man. This is ridiculous. That's my job. You're arming yourself here, slowing up traffic, you're more arming good. Let's go somewhere else. Get out of here. I'm sure everyone has their own thoughts about holding a fuck the police sign behind a traffic stop. In my opinion, and in this case, it was more than warranted. At the end of the day, though, it worked. Because after that stop, he left. I know folks are going to leave whatever comments they want, and I don't mind. I'm a big boy. So go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos as they come out. As always, remember, badges don't grant extra rights. Peace. Fucking road pirates. Fuck the police. Road pirate. Another leech. Welfare horse. Fuck the police. Everybody's trying to take pictures of me, dude. They're appalled. People are fucking appalled. Hey, you see how dangerous that is? You almost harmed yourself over this bullshit.